Pick Computing presents GCSE ICT video number 14 looking at entertainment systems. Now entertainment systems have been around for a long time. Things like television, radio, and then we've started to watch recordings and record our own TV on VCRs and even now DVD players. So they're nothing new. But GCSE ICT will expect you to know about the latest trends in entertainment systems. So here goes. There are, these are the main parts you'll need to know about. Gaming, digital TV, digital radio, the internet, and in particular downloading and streaming of content, and integrated entertainment systems. So gaming. Now since computers were invented, uh, people have liked to play games on them. It was started off with amateur games developers making the simplest of games. Then we started to get things called consoles come along which were computers dedicated to the playing of games. Now gaming is the world's biggest entertainment industry. Profits are larger than those of the music industry and even the film industry. We have dedicated computers for gaming called consoles. These have specialist input devices so you're unlikely to use keyboards and mice with them, although you can. Uh, you're more likely to use things like controllers, joysticks, headsets, remotes, steering wheels and even guns. You're expected to have output devices already such as monitors and speakers to connect your console up to. The latest consoles might be the Sony PlayStation 3, an Xbox 360 from Microsoft, and Nintendo's Wii. Bit of work for you might be what are the advantages and disadvantages of each type of console. As well as consoles, there are also gaming PCs. They might look a bit flasher than normal PCs, and there are special gaming laptops such as the razor blade which has the game on the touchpad as well as on the screen gaming PCs and laptops tend to be more powerful than normal computers they handle all the graphics and gameplay demands that games have they might have better hardware like quad core processors so that means four processors faster graphics cards and large, large amounts of memory, up to 24 megabytes of RAM. There are other platforms we can play games on as well, such as handheld consoles. We might have had the Game Boy traditionally, and there's now things like the Nintendo DS, and even the Siftio Cube, which is a very innovative and nice way of linking up little devices to play a game. We have tablet computers to play games on, and of course, smartphones. Bits of work that you might consider doing now to extend your learning on this might be the pros and cons of the different platforms. Uh, what do you think they could be? And also the pros and cons of gaming. What are the negative effects as well as the positive enjoyment factors of gaming? That's the type of question you might well get asked in a GCSE ICT exam. If you're interested in learning more about digital TV, just pause this video, write down that uh, address there and watch the video on digital TV from PIC Computing. Digital Radio um, uses the technology called DAB which stands for Digital Audio Broadcasting. It provides better sound quality than older um, FM and AM technologies. FM standing for Frequency Modulator and AM standing for amplitude modulation and we can also get more channels as well. When it comes to the internet the things you're going to need to know about are streaming and YouTube's a great example of a website that streams content to us versus downloading which is where we save files to disk. If we're streaming stuff the good things are that we don't have to wait very long for the video to play because it just downloads to our memory the first part of the video and whilst we're watching that first part continues to download the rest of the video it streams in 
So that's a good thing, that we don't have to wait long to see the content. Another good thing is that videos or, or audio won't take up space on our hard drive because it doesn't actually save to our hard drive. The bad things are we don't have copies of that video if we're just watching a stream of it, meaning that if our internet's down we can't watch the video and also if the website that's streaming the content decides to take it off their website then we can no longer view it. If we are able to save and download content that means we can watch it whilst our computers are offline and not connected to the internet and we have hold of that video for ourselves should it ever go missing off the internet. The bad things are we have to wait for the whole video to download before we can watch it and it might take up large amounts of space on our hard disks. Last thing we need to think about are integrated entertainment systems. Traditionally these have been thought of as the sort of things you might see on aircraft where you have a little television, radio, maybe a telephone as well as other functionality built in to one system, an integrated entertainment system. But aren't our home devices becoming more like integrated entertainment systems as well? Have a think about that. Bye for now.